The population of a suburb of Cleveland has shown a linear growth in the years 1996 to 2008. The population in 1996 was 48,120 people, and it has been growing at a rate of 800 people per year. For Part A, we're asked about a linear equation expressing the population of the town P as a function of T, the number of years since 1996. Often, a linear function is given in the form of f of x equals mx plus b, or f of x equals b plus mx, where x is the input variable, and m equals the slope, which is the constant rate of change, and b is a vertical intercept, which is the initial or starting amount. But in this case, because we have a function of t, our function will be p of t equals, let's use the second form, so we'll have b plus mt. Notice how we're using the input variable t rather than the input variable x. And here, because t is the number of years since 1996, the population in 1996 is the initial or starting amount, which gives us the vertical intercept b. So in this problem, because the population in 1996 is 48,120, we know that B equals 48,120 people. Again, the only reason we're using this value as B is because T is a number of years since 1996, and therefore this population is the initial or starting amount. And then because the population is growing at a rate of 800 people per year, M, the slope, which is the constant rate of change, is equal to 800 people per year. So now we know for this situation P of T is equal to 48,120 plus 800 T. So we enter our function here. So we enter P of T equals Again, 48,120 plus 800t. And now for part B, if the town is still experiencing a linear increase, what will the population be in 2013? So we first need to determine the value of t for the year 2013. To determine the value of t, we take the desired year of 2013 and subtract the base year or starting year which in this case is 1996. 2013 minus 1,996 is equal to 17. So to answer the question for part B, to predict the population in 2013, we need to determine the value of P of 17. So P of 17 is equal to 48,120 plus 800 times 17. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. So we have 48,120 plus 800 times 17, which equals 61,720. So P of 17 equals 61,720 people. And therefore we enter 61,720. I hope you found this helpful.